Good morning. This is Mission Control Houston on Thursday, July 8th, 2021. We are live here in the International Space Station Flight Control Room. With this morning, we are bringing you live coverage of the autonomous undocking of Dragon from the International Space Station for its return to Earth with almost 5,300 pounds of research and return cargo. So you're talking about the ones in the vestibule? Affirmative, yeah. Um, we're, we are reviewing the photos right now, and so we just want to get it on a loop so everyone's on the same page. Um, we're looking for confirmation that the MLI blankets were pulled up and reattached to the Velcros. Yep, uh, the Velcro was attached all the way around the circumference, and, uh, and then they were out of the way. Okay, we copied that the blankets were attached to the Velcro and that they were out of the way. Thank you much, Shane. Originally planned for a Tuesday, July 6th, uh, undocking, NASA and SpaceX waived undocking of Cargo Dragon due to Tropical Storm Elsa. After a series of weather briefings and assessing certain parameters like wind speeds and wave heights, NASA and SpaceX concluded that parameters were good and chose a new splashdown site off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. Today's release is being controlled by ground controllers here in an International Space Station Flight Control Room and in Hawthorne, California. Teams here are being led by Flight Director Paul Kanya, joined on console to his right by Capcom Leslie Ringo. You'll hear Ringo talking to the station crew from time to time as teams go through procedures for Dragon's release today. And over in Hawthorne, California, SpaceX Mission Director Kira Waldron is leading teams in the SpaceX Flight Control Room. Teams there will be talk taking over Dragon's operations once it departs the vicinity of an International Space Station all the way through its splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico tomorrow evening. To accommodate for better lighting conditions this morning, Dragon's departure was pushed back about 10 minutes, and the command for undock is now scheduled for 9.40 a.m. Central Time. Shortly after Dragon is released, it will conduct a series of undocking and departure burns or firings of its main engine to move to a safe distance away from the station and exit the approach ellipsoid for its return back to Earth, ending in a parachute-assisted splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico off the coast of Florida about 37 hours after its departure. You are currently seeing a live view of Dragon and it's current and ready for undocking this morning.
If you are just joining us, the SpaceX Dragon is ready to depart the station, having arrived on June 5th, 2021, with over 7,300 pounds of cargo. Today, you are watching an autonomous undocking of a cargo Dragon vehicle. Upon Dragon's departure today, scheduled for 9.40 a.m. Central Time, it will depart with just over 5,300 pounds of critical science and other hardware, scheduled for a safe splashdown tomorrow in the Gulf of Mexico off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida, around 10.30 p.m. Central Time, 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Station Houston and 2 for Dragon status. Dragon's journey to the International Space Station. All right, in preparation for undock, at this time, please perform step one of 1.602 Dragon departure monitoring. The undock sequence start time is 1440 GMT. 1440, and I'll review step one. Okay, and one additional item is we're just delaying 10 minutes to make sure that we have good calm with the vehicle. Copy that, thanks. And that was Capcom Leslie Ringo relaying the message to Shane Kimbrough, who will be monitoring Dragon's departure today, that they pushed undocking about 10 minutes. It's now scheduled for 9.40 a.m. for undocking command to be sent. It'll take about three minutes for Dragon's hooks to be unhooked, and then the release will be about two minutes later. Dragon's journey to the International Space Station began on June 3rd when the spacecraft launched on a Falcon 9 rocket from the Space Launch Complex 39A at Cape Canaveral, Florida. Hey Shane, um, we are looking at the photos um, and we're not sure which photos might be a before configuration and an after configuration. So if on SSC 1, 2, you still have the photos that were put on there for downlink, um, can you confirm if photo number 4107 was um, an after config? All right, I'll take a look. And Shane, a cor that's a correction. Um, we're expecting 4107 to be a before configuration. So looking for your confirmation. to you for MLI. Go ahead, Shane. Yeah, the 4107 was just a picture of the hatch, so we had not even gotten to the step in the procedure where it said to do the MLI yet, so that's um, why it wasn't in, con in config there. And then as we proceeded kind of working our way out, then we fixed the MLI, and you see the, the next steps and the next pictures there show it all closed up. And those are all great words. Thank you, Shane, for the clarification. Taking another live look at the SpaceX Dragon cargo craft attached to the space-facing space port of the Harmony module. 
Dragon is returning to Earth later tomorrow with about 5,300 pounds of research and return cargo. About 37 hours after Dragon departs from the station, it will conduct a deorbit burn, which will last about nine minutes. It'll then take about 30 minutes for Dragon to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere for its parachute-assisted splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico on the coast of Tallahassee, Florida, around 10.30 p.m. Central Time, 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time. There are a couple milestones we'll see Dragon meet this morning. First, those departure burns, but then it will cross the keep-out sphere, an invisible line around the station with a 200-meter ra meteor radius. It will keep heading away from the station and will stand by until it makes its way out of the approach ellipsoid, another invisible line considered the neighborhood of the space station. These invisible lines are where we have checkpoints for the vehicles on the way to and from the International Space Station. Once the command to undock is sent, we will be looking for two sets of six hooks from the International Space Station to be released from, crew drag from Cargo Dragon. After open, two small undocking burns that will last less than a few seconds, and then we'll begin to see separation of the vehicle. The spacecraft will start to slowly drift away. Next, Dragon will have a few departure burns to get into the proper position away from the station for its eventual deorbit burn scheduled for tomorrow around 9.45 p.m. Central Time. That will slow Dragon down enough to drop it out of the orbit, out of orbit and send it towards its landing zone, splashing down in the Gulf of Mexico approximately 10.30 p.m. Central Time, 11. 30 p.m. Eastern. Splashdown will not be covered live, but to keep up with the mission, go to www.nasa.gov. Dragon, Dragon undock and departure review complete. ISS crew is ready for departure. Copy. There are currently seven crew members living and working aboard the International Space Station. Expedition 65 consists of NASA astronauts Shane Kimbrough, Megan MacArthur, and Mark Vandehei, Roscosmos cosmonauts Petro Dubrov, Oleg Novitsky, Aki Hoshido of JAXA, and Thomas Pesquet of the European Space Agency. As a part of the commercial crew program, NASA astronauts Megan Megan MacArthur and Shane Kimbrough launched alongside European Space Agency astronaut Thomas Pesquet and Japan Aerospace Exploration AC astronaut Aki Hoshido on April 23rd from the Kennedy Space Flight Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida. This mission, known as NASA's SpaceX Crew-2, docked to the International Space Station on April 24th and is set for a six-month six -month science mission. The Crew-2 mission is the second of six crewed missions NASA and SpaceX will fly as a part of the agency's commercial crew program.
You are currently seeing live view of the International Space Station Flight Control Room. We're in a brief handover between satellites right now, but we'll be regaining communications here shortly. And we're about eight minutes out from a final go, no goal around the room here in Mission Control Houston to see whether Dragon will be ready for undocking today. If you are just joining us, we are live here in the International Space Station Flight Control Room with a live view of the SpaceX Dragon cargo craft. This morning, we bring you live coverage of the autonomous undocking of Dragon from the International Space Station for its return to Earth with almost 5,300 pounds of research and return cargo. Originally planned for Tuesday, July 6, NASA and SpaceX waived undocking of Cargo Dragon due to Tropical Storm Elsa. After a series of weather briefings assessing certain parameters like wind speeds and wave heights, NASA and SpaceX chose a new splashdown site off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida, scheduled for 10.30 p.m. Central Time tomorrow.
Dragon's journey to the International Space Station began on June 3rd when the spacecraft launched on a Falcon 9 rocket from the Space Launch Complex 39A at Cape Canaveral, Florida. The spacecraft lifted off over the Florida coast with more than 7,300 pounds of science investigations and supplies to begin its two-day journey to the International Space Station. Dragon arrived two days later on June 5th with Expedition 65 flight engineers Shane Kimbrough and Megan MacArthur monitoring the arrival from the station's cupola. Taking another live look at the SpaceX Dragon cargo craft attached to the space facing port of the Harmony module. Dragon is returning to Earth later tomorrow with about 5,300 pounds of research and return cargo. About 36 hours after Dragon departs from the station, it will conduct a deep orbit burn, which will last about 9 minutes and 10 seconds. It will then take about 30 minutes for Dragon to re enter the Earth's atmosphere for its parachute assisted splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico outside of Tallahassee, Florida, around 10.30 p.m. Central Time, 11.30 p.m. Eastern. There are a couple milestones we'll see Dragon meet this morning. First, those departure burns, but then it will cross the keep-out sphere, an invisible line around the station with a 200-meter radius. It will keep heading away from the station and will stand by until it makes its way out of the approach ellipsoid, another invisible line considered the neighborhood of the space station. These invisible lines are where we have checkpoints for the vehicle on the way to and from the International Space Station. Once the command to undock is sent, we'll be looking for two sets of six hooks from the International Space Station to be released from Cargo Dragon. After open, two small undocking burns that will last less than a few seconds, and we'll begin to see separation of the vehicle. The spacecraft will then start to slowly drift away. Next, Dragon has a few departure burns to get into the proper position away from the International Space Station for its eventual deorbit burn, scheduled for tomorrow at 9.45 p.m. Central Time. That will slow Dragon down enough to drop it out of orbit and send it towards its landing zone, splashing down at approximately 10.30 p.m. Central Time on the coast of Florida. Splashdown will not be covered live, but to keep up with the mission, go to www.nasa.gov. Yeah, okay, I just wanted to verify that you guys got all the USO shutters closed. We're about to do our go, no go down here. Yes, sir. Sorry, I didn't mark it complete, but yes, those are complete. And we copy. Appreciate it.
You're currently getting a live view of the Dragon cargo craft still attached to the International Space Station, as it will be for the next 15 minutes or so. Before it undocks for its return to Earth, carrying two thousand over 5,000 pounds of research and return cargo. Among that research and return cargo are samples, hardware, and data for completed investigations. The Molecular Muscle Experiment 2 is one of the investigations returning on Dragon today, which was an experiment to measure muscle. Dragon is go for undocking and departure. Perform step two through end in 1.602 Dragon Departure Monitoring. And that was Leslie Ringo, Capcom, communicating to Shane Kimbrough in the Cupola Today Monitoring that Dragon has a go for undocking. Station Houston and two for Dragon. Dragon is go for undock, undocking and departure. Perform step two through end in one decimal six zero two. Dragon departure monitoring. Copy step two, and ISS crew is ready for Dragon undocking. Copy. We are currently in a brief handover between satellites, but we'll have communication back shortly. While we wait, let's talk about some of the research and return cargo that Dragon will be returning tomorrow once it's splashed down. The Molecular Muscle Experiment 2 is one of the investigations returning on Dragon tomorrow, which was an experiment to measure muscle strength in worms to test whether decreased expression of muscle proteins is in association with decreased strength, which could support development of countermeasures to help maintain crew member health. Another investigation returning to Earth on Dragon tomorrow is the Lyophilization 2, which examines how gravity affects freeze-dried freeze materials. Formulating pharmaceuticals using lyophilization or freeze-drying improves their stability and shelf life and could enable long-term storage of medications and other resources on future long-duration space missions. Also returning on Dragon is the oral biofilms and space studies, evaluating how gravity affects the structure, composition, and activity of oral bacteria in the presence of common oral care agents. Findings could support development of treatments to fight oral diseases. Again, these are only a few of the science investigations returning to Earth on Dragon tomorrow for further analysis, further analysis and results. The International Space Station continues to serve as an essential test bed for people on Earth and in orbit as we continue to move forward placing the first woman and person of color on the moon and eventually on Mars. You're currently looking at a live view of the International Space Station Flight Control Room. 
About mo five minutes ago, flight director Paul Kanya took a final go no go poll from flight controllers around the room here in Mission Control Houston to make sure all systems were a go before the release of Dragon this morning. The go for undock was confirmed by Leslie Ringo, relayed to Shane Kimbrough, who's monitoring Dragon's departure today in the cupola module. We are looking for the release command or undock command from Dragon to be sent around 9.40 a.m. Central Time. And we're waiting for that, and that's about three minutes out. The command has now been issued for undocking. We are now looking for two sets of six hooks to open.
Hooks are currently driving. The first set of hooks are open and we're looking for the second to be underway. Station Houston and two, the first set of hooks are open. Dragon is committed to undock. Happy, thanks. And the second set of hooks are now opening. All hooks have now been opened. Station Houston and two, all hooks open. Copy. Release has been confirmed at 9.45 a.m. Central Time. Physical separation visually confirmed. Copy. That was Shane Kimbrough relaying that release has been confirmed at 9.45 a.m. Central Time. As the International Space Station and Dragon were flying 262 statute miles above the South Atlantic Ocean.
and that first undocking burn has been completed. Second departure burn zero is complete. Copy, departure burn zero complete. Dragon is now in retreat mode, and after a series of departure burns, we'll continue to pick up a little more speed to move Dragon out of the keep-out sphere and then the approach ellipsoid this morning. Station and step four, we're showing uh, source slot four, ISS thrusters enabled. We copy. We're about two minutes out from that next burn. This burn will take Dragon out of the keep out sphere, that first invisible line with a 200 meteor radius to get the cargo Dragon away from the International Space Station. Station Cuba on Space Ground 2 for Aki at your convenience. And we're about 30 seconds out from the next burn.
Station used in on two, departure burn one complete. So that looks like it's right down the chute in the corridor. Copy. Leslie Ringo confirmed with Shane Kimbrough that the last burn was completed and it was nominal. Station Houston N2, Dragon has exited the keep out sphere. Hey, that's great news, Leslie. Hey, I want to say thanks to all the SpaceX team, the NASA team, and all the scientists, engineers, and researchers who had equipment and um, on this vehicle. It was a great vehicle, it kept us busy for this past month, um, doing a bunch of great science. Hopefully, the returns so that you get back on this vehicle here in a few days will, will prove to be. Um, good insight for all the researchers there, and uh, obviously it brought up the solar arrays as well that we got to install on our EVAs, so it kept us nice and busy. So thanks to everybody again, and it uh, looks like a beautiful vehicle departing. And that was Capcom Leslie Ringo confirming that Dragon is outside of the Keep Out Sphere, and a bid farewell to Dragon by NASA astronaut Shane Kimbrough. And that same burn that helped Dragon exit the keep out sphere will also help Dragon exit the neighborhood or the vicinity of the International Space Station. In a lunar, we're looking for Dragon to exit the approach ellipsoid in a little under 10 minutes.
If you are just joining us, we are live here in the International Space Station Flight Control Room with a live view of the SpaceX Dragon cargo craft as it has undocked the International Space Station and now is retreating. It has currently exited the keepout sphere and we're looking for one more milestone this morning and that's going to be the exiting the approach ellipsoid. Cargo driving arrived on June 5th. 2021 with over 7,300 pounds of cargo. Cargo Dragon will return tomorrow, splashing down in the Gulf of Mexico off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida with about 5,300 pounds of research and return cargo. Dragon had an on-time departure of 9.45 a.m. Central Time as the International Space Station and Dragon flew 262 statute miles above the South Atlantic Ocean. Now just about four minutes away from Dragon departing the approach ellipsoid, which is the mythical cone around the station, referred to as the neighborhood of the space station, at which point integrated operations between flight control team here in Houston and SpaceX flight control team in Hawthorne, California, will be complete. At that point, NASA's tasks as part of the joint mission operations will be complete as flight controllers in the SpaceX Mission Control Center in Hawthorne, California, take over operations of the Dragon cargo craft. Just to recap some of the milestones from our coverage so far today, the command for undock was sent at 9.40 a.m. Dragon had two sets of six hooks released and had a successful undocking at 9.45 a.m. Central Time, 10.45 a.m. Eastern. It then conducted a series of departure burns to move away from the space station. Flight controllers here in Mission Control Houston and SpaceX Mission Control worked with Expedition 65 flight engineer Shane Kimbrough monitoring in the cupola. Dragon has now exited the keep out sphere and we're just a few minutes away from Dragon exiting the approach ellipsoid or the vicinity of the International Space Station. It will then keep moving away from the station and it will have an eventual deorbit burn tomorrow around 9.45 p.m. Central Time for a parachute assisted splashdown at 10.30 p.m. Central Time, 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time.
This is station on two for Dragon Monitoring Tools Teardown. Go ahead, Mark. Leslie, I'm in step one, uh, step 1.1. 1 .1. Expect, I was expecting to find a window called Desktop Streamer on SSC 17, but I don't see it. Does that mean I can skip this step? Affirmative, you can skip this step. And also, uh, I'm not seeing Dragon 2 docking monitor. Checking. And Mark, the docking monitor is really for approach only. Happy thanks. The station on two for Dragon Monitoring Tools. Go ahead, Mark. I expect the answer is all good, but uh, in step four, I'm not seeing DAS on SSC 17, so uh, I suspect that's the, the goal. Checking. More clear step four decimal one right click dash icon and system tray. I don't see that icon in the system tray. Okay, copy. You do not see the icon. And uh, I take that back. I just found it. I just got to look more carefully. Okay, copy. You found it. Dragon has now exited the approach ellipsoid, and Dragon will now be commanded by flight controllers in the SpaceX Mission Control Center in Hawthorne, California. Another day of travel, Dragon will continue to have a series of departure burns to an eventual execution. Dragon is outside of the approach ellipsoid on a 24-hour safe free drift trajectory. Thanks. 
And that was Capcom Leslie Ringo confirming that Dragon is outside of the approach ellipsoid. Dragon will now be commanded by flight controllers in SpaceX Mission Control Center in Hawthorne, California. Dragon will continue to have a series of departure burns to an eventual execution of a seven of a nine minute, 10 second deorbit burn around 9.45 p.m. Central Time tomorrow. That will slow Dragon down by just over 64 meters per second, allowing it to drop out of the orb out of orbit for its descent back to the Earth's atmosphere and a parachute assisted splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida around 10.30 p.m. Central Time, 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Splashdown will not be broadcast live, but to continue to follow the mission, go to www.nasa.gov. Recapping the events from today, Dragon was set free at 9.45 a.m. Central Time as the International Space Station and Dragon were flying 262 statute miles above the South Atlantic Ocean. Dragon then executed a series of departure burns to move to a safe distance away from the station where it will continue to move for the next day before it has a deorbit burn at 9.45 p.m. Central Time tomorrow. Dragon's parachute assisted assisted splashdown is scheduled to happen around 10.30 p.m. Central Time, 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. The NASA and SpaceX recovery teams will be on the scene in splashdown zone ready to retrieve Dragon and its nearly 5,300 pounds of cargo and return science. Dragon will then make its trip back to port for the unstowing of that research and return cargo. With Dragon now safely on its way back to Earth, that'll wrap up our release coverage for today. This is Mission Control Houston.